they do not know. I am seated at the table at a feast of celebration. What a crowd, an air of excitement hangs in this upper room. They eat and they drink and they speak with joyous jubilation. I look around and I lose myself momentarily in thought. They dare not to care or spare a single second of their time to realize the hour is near where I must show why I have been sent, and to my fate I must solemnly go. But again, I tell myself, they do not know. They do not know what I mean when I say take and eat. This bread represents my body. How strange, they must say, as we commune and as we pray, and finally, we take the cup. This is my blood, I declare with the air so bare and still. It's symbolic. They've been told that I was sent to begin the eradication of sin. A deed must be done and there is a battle to be won. But right now, I think they do not know. Reality is bearing its ugly weight on my shoulders. Now I'm in the garden and I'm compelled to stay and to pray to my Father in heaven. The air is thick and humid and the smell of flowers hour by hour cover the land in this garden so grand. And the moon shines its bright, beautiful light as I bow my head and pray that I might survive. Oh God, is there any other way? Oh God, if there is another way, then save me from this torture. My soul is sorrowful even to death. I know the time has come for my very last breath, but still, Father, not my will. Sweat drips from my head in anguish, I sigh. From my eyes there are tears until it's time. They're here. I'm under arrest and my disciples protest. The crowd is angry and restless. Before very long, it all seems so wrong. And suddenly they have one last haunting hope. They flee. The crowd demands justice and crucifixion and punishment, all for crimes I did not commit. They're blinded by anger, by denial, by hatred. They won't relent without a show. But they do not know. They do not know who I am. They do not know why I've been sent. They do not know who my father is or where he sits. They do not know how heinous it is to slaughter a man or demand he be humiliated. They do not know that now my head is covered with thorns, but in the end, their knees will bow before our Lord. They do not know who it is, who it truly is upon who they spit. They mock and they jeer, and yet they cheer as I fight to take a single breath. They do not know that the agony I feel as nails are driven through my hands and feet is more than the slaughter of just a man. They do not know it's the son of man upon this cross, that it makes the difference between who is saved and who is lost. They do not know that the plan from the creation of man is being realized at this hour at hand. What they do, they do not know. Finally, it is finished. But the story did not end. And now as I rise, I stare at one last obstacle. Only a stone stands in my way between me and the third day. The day when I, the Christ, is risen. At this moment, they do not know. They do not know the victory. They do not know of death's defeat. They do not know my heel has crushed Satan's head, that darkness is gone, and that sin can no longer conquer anyone. They do not know about the sacrifice that God gave his only son's life, that the world has changed and it will never be the same. 
The stone is rolled away and I look before me. The sun shines and bright, beautiful new life is screaming its presence from the horizon. I look at my view from the inside of this tomb and think, right now, they do not know. But soon, they will.